learn how to use uh, OpenCV uh, to detect a face and uh, then uh, we'll use the Python code to connect to our Arduino using serial port and, and display the number of face being detected on the frame. So let's begin with uh, installing OpenCV in Python on a Windows development environment and then we will see how to uh, connect an Arduino using, uh, with a Python serial with a Python serial port control. So uh, the first thing that you need to install is install Python 3.10.4 on your system. You can install any latest version of Python. What we are going to describe here is the Python 3.10.4. So go to the py uh, website uh, <coughs> python.org and download the Python 3.10.4 on your environment. So we are using here for Windows. So we'll use this one. So install launcher for all users and add Python 3.10 to, to pass. So these two things are important. So you will check these things. Next is you will see set up a successful and there are some options called a disable path length limit. So please uh, click on this disable path length limit. So this will disable the length of the max path. So once it is once this is done, verify the Python install by going to the command.exe. So open uh, command prompt and type Python. Once you type Python, you should be able to see the version of the Python being installed in a system. <coughs> now, and the next thing that you need to do when once you install Python is that you have to install pip. Pip is nothing but a Python package manager. So uh, install. So go to the website getpip.py. Sorry, uh, go to this website called bootstrap.pypa.io/getpip.py and uh, copy uh, this file to your Python path. So in order to get the Python path that where the Python is located, you should install the Rapid Environment Editor, or you can go to the environment variables on your system and you find the uh, path of the uh, path where the python is installed so here in this case you can see the python is installed in this particular path so you can see so once you then go to that path and uh, paste the <coughs> pip.py uh, uh, get pip.py file uh, to that particular uh, location once you have done that then <coughs> once you have done that uh, so you can see here I have copy pasted get pip.py here. Uh, now, now open the command prompt and <coughs> install pip python get pip. Now you run this uh, command python get pip.py. So once you have uh, run this command, this will install the pip uh, python package manager that is pip to your system. Once this is done, now you uh, you have to install numpy package. Numpy package is for uh, when we want to do some numerical calculations and all in python. So we want to use a numpy package. So we will use uh, download and install numpy package using pip install. So type uh, go to your command prompt uh, python start python and, and type pip install numpy. So this will install the numpy package in your system. Similarly install mat.lib. Once you install mat.lib then what you can do is that uh, sometimes you will need some C++ redistributable to be installed on system. So go to this particular website as shown, on, uh, shown in the slide docs.microsoft.com and download a Microsoft Visual C++ 2020 redistributable and install it in your system. Uh, once you've installed that, now the next thing that you want to install and download is the OpenCV. So OpenCV is a library that is part of Open Computer Vision. Why Open Computer Vision? Because it's an open source computer vision library. So here you can, uh, in this computer vision library, you get a lot of libraries and a lot of algorithms already in place, which helps you in detecting the faces and many other objects uh, in the environment and uh, do a lot of image processing algorithm on the uh, using this library so uh, the way to install this library is same pip install opencv config python so you install this thing now in order to verify the opencv install go to uh, go to a command prompt uh, start python and uh, type python once you start type python then you will see this python prompt has come this three arrow that you see here that says that you are now 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 on the python uh, prompt at this point you type import idle lib dot idle so this will in uh, this will start your idle that is the python uh, id uh, id for development of python uh, code so this will start that so open python idle open command window start python by typing this thing import cv to scv so import cv to scv will import your cv to library as cv so this will help you. Uh, so once you are getting this, uh, once you uh, write this uh, thing, and you get 4.5.5 or any version you get here, so it means that your OpenCV is successfully installed. 
So the next thing that you can do is that if you want to know more about OpenCL library, you can go to this particular forum and you can go to this particular forum to understand more thing about the library and you will get to know more things about OpenCL library. Next thing that we want to do is that we want to install some IAM utils package. This IAM utils package is when you want to do something on the image, uh, you want to let's say draw a rectangle or any kind of a thing on on top of the image, you have to use the IAM utils package. So we are going to use the uh, install the pip install IAM utils. So this will install the IAM utils package to your Python package manager. Now next thing that we are going to do is that create detection code using hard cascade method. So there are two uh, ways of detecting case. One is called a hard cascade and another one is called a delib. So we are going to use the hard cascade method here. Delib is a much better method which you can uh, try after completing this assignment. So for this particular thing, we have already supplied you some source code. Uh, you will get some source code from your structure, and uh, you can try to uh, start this source code. Means like you can copy paste this source code in the system, and then you, you can start this video face detector dot py. So once you started this video face detector dot py, py. So uh, right click on that video face detector py edit with idle. So this will open your video face detector of Python here. So you can see the code here. Uh, so here we have used like all this library, IAM utils, uh, CV2 library, etc. We use and then you can see ARG parse and time library. So these libraries come by default along with the Python. So we need not install any extra thing using pip install for this. So now you can so this is uh, the one now uh, once we started this thing so you can see that uh, a video capture will start from camera and it will be it will start detecting the faces so anyone who comes on the frame it will start detecting the faces so now uh, what you can do is that you can modify the code to count number of faces so maybe you, you would have been supplied with a already with this code but if let's say it's not there you can modify it here so what you can see is that, that i have given a count equal to zero and then whenever the face is getting detected i am doing count equal to count plus one and this thing is running over and over in a, inside a loop and this is the one uh, there where we are putting the text that is the number so str of count so this will uh, convert the number one or two to the count and it will print out in, on top of frame so uh, next thing uh, so this so this uh, thing completes our face detection uh, on Python. The next thing that we will try to do is that how can we uh, access serial port using Python. So for that you will have to install the PySerial library. So pip install PySerial and this will install the PySerial library to your port. And in order to access the serial port from Python what you have to do is that you have to install, you have to write this in a particular command. So if you can see what you have been given is Arduino serial dot serial port port forms rewarded. So this is the one that will <coughs> that we get the uh, serial data so we have used import serial so that will uh, use the serial library and this is the one uh, where we are defining this thing and def write reader so this is the function that uh, we will define later so create python code to write the serial port so what we'll do write read str of count so this will now write uh, the number to the serial port and we already have uh, in our arduino you have to install you have to uh, download and uh, uh, download this particular code to the Arduino. So this uh, particular code, what it will do is that it will interface a seven segment display to the Arduino, and will, whatever numbers you are uh, sending to serial port, it will display that number on the seven segment display. So this is the uh, circuit diagram, or the pin, or the mapping diagram that you can use for that particular for connecting Arduino with the seven segment display. So now you can see the output here. So what you can see here is that I have connected a Arduino with a serial uh, port uh, to the system and a seven segment display. And here what you can see is that my face detection uh, code is running. So here it is detecting one face. So here number one is displayed and here also you can see number one is displayed on the serial port. So this way you have learned how to uh, uh, do uh, face detection using OpenCV and also you have learned how to access the serial port uh, using Python. So this is a very great project and you can this is just a learning you can do a lot of uh, lot of interesting things using uh, face detection library and various different things so not not only face you can also detect eyes nose mouth lips etc in the same hard cascade algorithm so just uh, try and explore uh, the hard cascade library so here you can see no faces detected so it is displaying zero both on the screen and on the uh, seven segment display here we have two faces in the screen so it is saying two here and two here so that's all uh, guys, uh, so thanks for watching this video, hope you like it, if you have any problem or doubt, uh, don't uh, hesitate to email us at 
admin at pinwheel.in. Also, you can find a lot of interesting products on www.pinwheel.in. Thank you. Like us and subscribe on YouTube.